Friends, Greg Newmaster coming at you again with another action figure review. Today I have the Medicom Mayfex Captain America from Avengers Endgame. And if you like the video, my friends, please like and subscribe. Help me to build my channel. Try to get to a thousand subs. So let's see if I can do it. Now it's now it's just a game to see if I can do it. Uh, and because I love action figures and I love making these reviews and uh, I hope you guys enjoy them. So that being said, let's get on to this. So uh, quick side note, um, enjoy the window box. Enjoy the packaging. I'm, I'm not a packaging guy, but I do appreciate it because I like to take the figures out. But it seems like uh, major companies are trying to do away with plastic to help the environment. Which is a wonderful thing, you know, to help the environment, but it makes it makes you sad if you're a collector because uh, for various reasons, you want to see the figure, you want to see what you're getting. Uh, it helps uh, with the marketing strategy because if you're likely to see what you're getting, you're more likely to purchase it. So, uh, and, the, and these packages are, are just so nice. They're so well done. We've really become spoiled uh, in the modern age. So uh, Hasbro's. Uh, you know, just pumped out an edict saying that they're going to uh, get rid of the, the plastic in their packaging. So, I don't know. We'll see if other companies follow suit. Granted, this is a Japanese company, uh, Medicom Mayfax, I'm pretty sure. So, I don't know. Who knows if they'll follow the path of major American companies. But anyhow, enjoy the packaging. That's all I'm trying to say. So let's get a good look at this. Uh, I love Mayfex. They have the corner on the superhero uh, action figure market. I think they do them the best. Articulation sculpt, better than Bandai, SH Figure Arts in my opinion. They just look amazing. I love these figures so much and I've been so pleased with them. I'm, I'm pleased with the the yeah, X-Men figures that have come out, the Spider-Man figures that have come out, they're just awesome, and, and they look better than Bandai. Bandai does a great job too, but theirs are more action figure-ish, they're more clunky looking, where Mayfex is sleek, but um, also has all the articulation and painting and sculpt, so that being said, on to Captain America. One of the most iconic uh, superheroes of all time uh, has become very popular in recent history with the Avengers movies, uh, with uh, Captain America Winter Soldier. That movie really put him on the map. One of the best Marvel movies ever made, in my opinion. And then Avengers Endgame. So not only was Infinity War awesome... And, and we're coming off of that depression and high, and that's the Empire Strikes Back, I would say, of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Then we get Endgame, and, you know, who, who would have thought that they could have topped it? And so many payoffs, so many wonderful things in that film, but one of the most iconic superhero movie scenes ever is with Captain America, both times. First time, he wields Mjolnir. Uh, this was a... Uh, um, alluded to back in Avengers Age of Ultron <laughs> when they have the contest at the party and nobody can uh, wield Mjolnir but Captain America wiggles it and Thor gets very nervous. Super funny scene, super awesome scene. Finally played off in this movie when Thor, Iron Man, and Cap take on Thanos and Thor gets knocked out and Iron Man's knocked out, and Cap's the only one left standing, of course, because uh, he can do this all day, and uh, he, he picks up Mjolnir, and I gotta say, I everybody in my theater just screamed like a maniac when this happened, screamed like a maniac, that was the first iconic scene with Cap, the second uh, iconic scene with Cap is when he says Avengers Assemble, and everybody shows up and everybody's back because we all thought that they were dead. And people were crying in the theater. People were cheering. People were clapping. People were yelling. I know I got emotional. I know my wife got emotional when we saw that scene. It was just absolutely incredible. And I'm thankful that, you know, in this day and age, we get to have an experience like that. So with my, with my dad's generation, it was the first Star Wars 
um, when that came out in the 70s, late 70s, you know, nobody had seen anything like that. And so much has been made since that has just been incredible. But I was just thankful that, you know, in this day and age that everybody got to have a moment like that in movies and superhero movies uh, in pop culture history. So it was just incredible. And I, when I saw they were making this figure, I just had to get this figure. Uh, Steve Rogers, he is, he is the modern Superman. Marvel got it right. Marvel got Superman right better than DC did with their interpretation of Superman. Because Superman is not dark and broody. He is optimistic. He is a symbol of hope. He is the Boy Scout. But not in a corny, stupid way, but in, a, in an inspiring way. And we need people like that. Because the world can be very ugly, the world can be very dark, and we need people to inspire us and give us hope, and who keep fighting for what's right and true. And that's what Captain America is, at least that's what he's been portrayed as in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So let's bust this open, enough of me blabbing. Uh, the packaging looks great. Uh, they they did the red, white, and blue colors. Uh, very nice, unique package. Uh, there it is on the side. There he is on the back. Uh, there it is on the other side. And there is the bottom. Always want to make sure you have this metallic sticker so it's not a knockoff. And I'm excited to see how he compares to the Marvel Legends figure. Because honestly, the Marvel Legends... Uh, put out a really nice figure so i want to see if if this is worth the the price point um so this is a uh, about a hundred dollars i got this pre-ordered this a long long time ago from big bad toy store um you actually get directions in there uh i don't know i don't know if it's worth opening these so i'm probably not going to open them uh the plastic bubble uh, there are two sections to this. So there's the main section and we get the second section with the stand, the broken shield, uh, the, the twirling Mjolnir. So I'm actually going to open that right now. We'll look at that first. Uh, check out some of these accessories and let's see how, I don't know if this is taped in or what. Oh, no, it's not taped in. It's taped on the bottom. Okay, so, yeah, I was so excited to get this. And look at the weathering on this. This looks great. Uh, the iconic shield made of vibranium, adamantium, different alloys in the comics. Anyhow, uh, it's unique. Uh, it's a very unique substance in the Marvel Universe. Uh, I think just in the cinematic universe, it's only made out of vibranium, so it's not as unique and special as it is in the comics. But this was also a payoff in Ultron as well when the Scarlet Witch puts the, I guess it's a vision of the future, but it was a potential scenario where Tony sees that the Avengers are defeated by an alien invasion, and we see the broken shield in that vision but we finally get it in the movie where uh thanos has that giant double-bladed sword that just chops it up and it, it was devastating to see that but cap picks it up and then is still able to wield it so this looks great nice and weathered and destroyed i'm definitely gonna display my cap figure with this shield uh because it's so unique so we get that uh, we get the various stands. I'm not going to pull those out because it'll take too long. So we get the twirling Mjolnir. This is awesome. What an awesome accessory. Uh, there's a nice little handle there. So you can you can put that in display cap with that. That is great. Really awesome. Uh, I already love this figure and we haven't even opened him yet. So, let's see what we get. So many accessories, guys. Uh, if y'all like accessories, this is the figure for it. So, let's get Cap out himself and get a good look at him and see how he compares. Now, what I'm really looking at here with this Cap to see if he's set apart is the sculpt. And, 
You know, one of the interesting things to think about in these uh, live action movies, and one of the things I wanted to see the most, is how they would do the costume. Because personally, I thoroughly enjoy the comic book costume. I, I love this version of the costume. The traditional, uh, like the swashbuckling boots, the uh, the uh, fish scale chain mail on the chest, and even the feathered ears on top. I was always kind of bummed out that in the movie version they didn't they didn't have the 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 feathered uh, wings sticking out. Uh, so they they did put them on the newer helmets and they sort of just sculpted them in there. Uh, but I always felt it could have just stuck out a little bit. And I don't know, that's just my opinion on the costume design, but the figure looks great. He looks real smooth. Um, the, the, the pants, they look, look like combat pants. The, the folds look really nice. Uh, it's, it's blended nicely. It doesn't took, look too action figure like, and it's just a really beautiful sculpt. So Let's check out the articulation. Excellent um, crunch there. So we get the double crunch. Uh, so there's rotation in the hips. Uh, this belt is a loose piece. So the utility belt is loose. We also have the straps, which are uh, loose and they're not overlaid on like the Marvel Legends figure. Uh, so that's its own separate piece, which I love. Uh, the shoulders go up nice and high which is great considering he has this extra shoulder pad piece. Uh, this is probably my favorite movie costume that they had of all the costumes, though I did love the Age of Ultron. Um, so, you know, this is a close, um, almost a tie with the Age of Ultron costume uh, in terms of iconic Captain America uh, costume. Uh, nice head articulation, everything you would want. Uh, let's see, it's on... Uh, Typical barbell joint. Uh, normally these have a bend in them, but this is straight. So just straight, like straight as an arrow. Uh, we get the double jointed elbows, which I love. We get bicep swivel. Um, let's see the wrist articulation. Ooh, something just popped off. Okay. Okay, so this little elbow bat, uh, pad piece just popped right off. So I don't know... If that just broke on mine or, uh, okay. Yeah, it, it can come off, but I'll, I'll probably glue that on. Not a big deal, but just be aware of that. This little elbow pad piece popped off. Uh, let's see the wrist articulation. Got a typical hinge on there. Uh, it can rotate more multiple points of rotation. So it rotates in the hinge itself and it rotates, the hand rotates on it. So you can, you can pretty much get whatever movement you want out of that there in terms of posing. Uh, we can do a nice straddle. Uh, the hips are soft. So this is a soft piece here. Also got that, oh, just pop the knee out there. So that's a little scary. Not a big deal though, I didn't break it. So be aware of that. But we also got the drop hips. Uh, there is rotation in the hip as well. Uh, the kick goes that high. Nice thick legs. Uh, this is like a grayish color instead of the typical brown. So it actually looks a little bit different than the picture. Um, which isn't bad. I don't, I don't know if I like it that much. The ankle articulation is hindered. So just by the sculpt here. This isn't very soft, so we don't get much movement in the ankle. Uh, there, I don't think there's a rocker in there either. We got toe articulation, which is the, I don't know, probably the least needed piece of articulation. Uh, we got the nice double jointed knees. Uh, so pretty good articulation. He could do a, <laughs> he could do a complete back then, so got that there. If that's what you want to do and it looks really good it's a very very good looking figure very handsome figure uh just the only critique i have so far is that you really can't move the ankle so that's something that the marvel legends has over this guy here and oh there's also rotation in the calves 
So you have that option as well. So very nice. Uh, what else do we have here? So you get two other heads. So you get the unmasked Steve Rogers head. So oh, let's see here. It's not focusing very well. It's a very good looking head. The, the hair looks just like it does in the movie. Uh, wow, it's painted very nicely. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but normally what they've been doing with these Mayfax figures is they have a little bit of a anime kind of look to them, but this looks authentic. This looks just like Chris Evans, so it looks very, very good. Uh, here it is in comparison to the Marvel Legends, and I don't know which one I like better. The Marvel Legends one looks very good as well, but I think this is more spot on for Chris Evans. So, very impressive though, but they both look really good. Um, I'll pop his head off and put the, that's what it looks like on the inside, just so you guys can see that. And looks very good. Yeah, he looks, oh, and this, uh, little uh, collar here on his neck that's a nice soft piece as well but he feels great he feels really good real sturdy real strong um here is just a closer up view of his helmet we get the nice metallic a and uh, the wings are metallic just all this different levels of detail quality control looks really good there he is on the back of the top. You can even see the shading in the helmet. Like this is a like sort of a black or a navy blue. Or a real black kind of blue color. Just different tones. So it looks very beautiful. Uh, what else do we got? So we got the shield. Uh, the complete shield. I like the size. So, <laughs> so here's the Marvel Legends shield. Ooh, as I drop that here. So this is the Worthy Cap figure. And the the shield, I hated the shield on this. It's just too big. Like, look at that. Um, it, it doesn't even fit on his arm. <laughs> like, I don't know why they made it so big. So this is a more movie-accurate, uh, proportionate shield, in my opinion. Looks like mine has a couple little bumps in it, though. So it's not as smooth as it should be. Uh, so that's kind of weird, but not a big deal. Uh, nice metallic colors, just beautiful. And here it is compared to the weathered broken shield. Very nice. All right, what else do we have? Uh, here is... Oh, I can get it out. Hard to get this stuff out here. So here is the angrier, more uh, ready for battle face. This is the face from the, the movie scene. Uh, it looks great. I just wish it would have been a little roughed up and dirty. Like if they were going to give us this face, uh, Cap at this point in the film like had the crap kicked out of him. So I, I would have liked to have seen it uh, just a little bit weathered and dirty looking. As an alternate choice. But I'm going to display the figure with this um, cap head. Because uh, I just like that one very much. Just look at the back too. It, it looks so good. Like from the movie. Just like that nice little ridge there. Just looks looks the same. Like, like he could pop that helmet just on and off. So that's a really nice feature. They also give you the helmet uh, unhelmeted. It's just like the helmet empty. I love that. That's just beautiful. It's so cool. Uh, I wish... I know I know the sculpt would look weird, but I just love it when you can pop the unmasked... The masks on the unmasked faces. So, that looks great. Uh, and you can hold it in his hand. You got so many hands. So, here's Mjolnir. Uh... Looks really nice. Very small, though. Uh, much smaller compared to uh, the Marvel Legends version. I, I do like the Marvel Legends version because it's it's a lot meatier. 
and bigger. Just looks stronger, but this is very beautifully done. Uh, I'll, I'll put compare the sizes in a moment, just so you guys get a good look at Mjolnir. Just look at the detail on the top. Very beautiful. Uh, they really did a good job. I mean, this is so small. Just to see the level of detail around the sides and the ridges and things like that. Just really, really beautiful. And we get, you get a lightning effect, which I'm going to put that on Mjolnir because that's how he will be displayed. I don't know how to put it on though. <laughs> Uh, let's see, let's go like that, something like that. Yeah, so I'm going to display mine with the lightning effect. That looks really cool. And what else do we have here? Almost done, guys. We got all these various hands. So you get some pointing hands. Let's see, one. So you get... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets of hands. Uh, what else do we have? I assume these are some sort of weapon holding hands. There. Got some open. Okay, you got open grabby hands like so. And you get another. You get... I don't know. The, the, the hands are excessive, to be honest with you. It's nice that you get the options, but there's so many. That's why I like the Toy Biz uh, original Marvel Legends, because they had um, articulated fingers, which was excessive and didn't look very well, but it was still a fun feature. Now they give you like 10 sets of hands. So that's just pretty crazy. Um... Not sure what these hands do. Oh, they, okay. These must be the shield holding hands then. So, yeah. I think it goes just like that. You can see that there, guys. Guys and gals. So, that's that's kind of cool. They put those little plastic pieces on there, and, and you can have him throw in the shield if that's what you want. So... What else can we do here? All right, I'm going to take these hands off. I'm going to take that, the fisted hand off, and I want to put on, uh, I want him to hold Mjolnir. So I think that is one of these hands. So I'm going to put this hand on and put Mjolnir. I don't know if it's the right one or not. I'll show you guys this first. So that just pops right in there. And then you have... This thing is heavy, though. So I feel like that'll just pull him right over. <laughs> yeah, like this thing is huge and heavy. So if you want to do the twirling Mjolnir, you're going to probably have to use the stand, and he's going to fall over. So I have him balancing on the box there, as you can see. But... You get that hand. Uh, I don't think that's the right hand, though, for the non-spinning one. So I'm going to try this hand. Yeah, this one looks like the one that I want. Uh, another thing I don't like is, is the Japanese companies, they tend, like, if you have, like, a strap or something. I like how Marvel would sort of go cheap and make it loose, and then you have the option of putting his hand in the strap, because... When Thor flies with Mjolnir, he holds on to the strap and it, it sort of pulls him like so, you know? So I just I just always like that option when the when the strap is a softer plastic. That's just like a small nitpick though. Um I don't know if I can like port this out to like slip it on. No, I guess you just kinda gotta force it in there. And these hands are, yeah, they're soft, so so they're not that hard plastic that's just going to snap and break. So you, it's a soft plastic, and you can put the weapon in there. You just want to be very careful with the pins, guys. It, it, 
they can snap so easily and there's nothing worse than paying like a hundred dollars for a collector's item and then the pin snaps so just put it on just like that so you have that option and you can have him you know sort of do like avengers assemble and i want to see how the broken shield goes on this is weird because these handles just look so small so i don't i don't understand how to oh okay those pop off like that or at least that one does but how do i put how do i have him hold the shield that's what i don't understand all right, so I'm going to actually have to get the directions out to see what to do because uh, I don't I don't understand how he holds the shield because I don't see any other piece here. So what do we got? How do we have him hold the shield? And it is in <laughs> another language. Oh, okay. I see. I see. So you actually have to swap it out from the other shield if you want to put the broken shield piece on. So you pop this bugger out like so. And you pop this one out like that. You can swap them. And then you can put the shield on just like so and that fell off so i need the proper hand because this fisted hand is not going to cut it so what is the proper shield holding hand it's got to be i think it's one of these guys i can just sorry it's not on camera you guys are like what is this guy doing uh, okay, so I got this open hand and I'm going to pop this on like so. And you got to put that, port that in there and kind of having trouble getting that in there actually. That doesn't seem right either. Okay, so... It's a little bit complicated, but you get the picture. So, yeah, you, you just swap the pieces out on the, between the two shields, and you just have to find the appropriate hand, which, what is the, okay, so the appropriate hand is the open-fisted hand. I see. Okay. So it's actually the hand that I already pulled out that I'm holding Mjolnir with. And we pop this one on like so. Okay. They just make this really... <laughs> they do make it challenging, I'm not going to lie. So it's a little bit of a challenge, but it's worth it in my opinion. And I think it's worth it to you all out there. So, so we pop that on and that's nice and tight in his grip. And then we slide that on and, and that goes like so. And there you have it, guys. He looks amazing. He's ready to battle Thanos. So here he is compared to, this is the uh, Worthy Cap from Marvel Legends. Uh, they did a very good job with the Worthy Cap, but this guy's better. <laughs> Definitely better. This looks looks more like a generic action figure. Here he is compared to the traditional looking Captain America, the Marvel Legends uh, anniversary one. It just came out uh, commemorating the original Toy Biz line. This this is one of the best Captain America figures of all time. And just to take a look at the inspiration of the costume, this is Commander Rogers' figure. This happened a long time ago in the comic books. But you can see, uh, you know, his greaves and the gloves, they match the look that they went with the, the movie costume. So this is uh, evocative of the Winter Soldier costume and currently sort of what he wears. His boots and his greaves and things like that. So... Anyhow, everybody, so that is Medicom Mayfix, uh, Captain America Endgame, Avengers Endgame. Excellent figure. Highly recommend it. 
Uh, sorry the video is a bit long, but it's such a detailed figure, it's worth it. Like, this guy is beautiful. If you like the video, please like and subscribe, and God bless you all. Avengers Assemble.